Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this part of the state elicitation and anchoring series, we're talking about intensifying states, right? So when you're using states to do NLP, uh, neuro linguistic programming transformation work, uh, oftentimes we're taking these states and we're using them for different reasons. And uh, we want the states to be sufficient enough in power. Right? So if we're going to be using collapsing anchors, like we're going to be doing later on, you want to make sure you have a strong resource. Furthermore, it just feels good to have a nice, strong state. So uh, in this part of the series, we're talking about intensifying states. We've gone over it via um, intensifying the submodalities and fractionation. And today I want to give you an exercise that I got from Richard Bandler. And I can't remember which, um, which book it was. It may have been Transformations or... Um, I, I can't remember, but it, it's called How Much Pleasure Can You Stand? And the way we're going to do this is we're going to, one, elicit a state using any one of the exercises that you know how to do already. And once you have that state, then we're going to imagine an image of yourself feeling the state twice as intense. And you're going to go make the images bigger, brighter, closer, step into them, feel the feelings. And you're going to do that again and again until you really amplify the state. So I'm going to go through the exercise with you now, and I'm just going to ask that you do these exercises with me. And if you do them, you will start to feel that state intensifying. We may even be able to push the threshold of how strongly you thought that state could be. If you do these exercises, what you thought was a strong state can actually increase. And you can take what you thought was the extent of what you could feel happiness at, for example, and make it more than what was possible in the past. So the first thing you're going to need is uh, a time when you felt really good. And so I'm going to pick a state of happiness to do this, but you can pick any state. And so remember that time. In order to remember it, you're typically going to remember it in terms of mental imagery or internal dialogue. So go ahead and remember that time. And as you start to remember that experience now, I want you to double the size of the image. So just like we did before, amplifying the submodalities, double the size of the image and then double it again so that you really start to feel that state getting stronger and then bring it closer to you. Allow it to come closer, making those feelings stronger and stronger. Step inside of it. Hear what you heard at the time. Turn the volume of it up so you can really hear what you heard now. In this state, I want you to imagine yourself feeling this state twice as strongly. So see yourself, see the look on your face, the way you're standing, uh, the, the way you're breathing, the way you'd move if you felt this state twice as strong. So in my case, I'm gonna see myself twice as happy as I was before and make that image bigger and brighter. So I'm gonna make it bigger, more intense, bring it closer to me and then step inside of it. And when you step into it, you can feel those feelings growing more intense. And notice where those feelings are in your body and then begin to spin them around faster and faster. So you notice where you first feel the feeling and which direction it moves in. And then just allow those feelings to spin faster. So for me, it's like that feeling of happiness goes up my chest, down my arms. And I'm just gonna spin those faster and faster and faster and faster. Then I'm gonna see myself in the state again. So see yourself twice, feeling that state twice as strongly make it bigger and brighter, and then step inside of it, feel those feelings intensify, spin them around faster and faster and faster, and then see yourself in that state again, only twice as strong, make the image bigger and brighter, bring it closer to you, and then go ahead and step inside of it so that you can feel those feelings spinning round and round and round, and go ahead and spin them faster and faster and faster to the point where you really start to feel that good feeling. This exercise is called How Much Pleasure Can You Stand? And the point of it is to take what you thought was the limit of a good feeling and then to begin to amplify it more and more. And if you do this, what you're going to realize is that actually you have beliefs about how good you could feel in the past. And doing exercises like this one will blow what you used to think was a good feeling out of the water. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get more life-changing videos like this one.